up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I just filmed this look for you guys right here. It's an easy, everyday, my like routine kind of makeup. Um, there's no lashes, no liner, none of that funny business. Um, and the best part is it's all drugstore. I did not use a single high-end product on my face and I'm loving it, honestly. Um, I think this is really nice to wear to work, to wear Anyways, so um, yeah, I really love this look. Great to wear to work, anything like that. It's really simple, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. Um, so go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, what's up, guys? So the first part of this look, I went ahead and just applied some Burt's Bees to my lips. They were super chapped, and the Burt's Bees chapstick is my fave. I used the original scent. All the other ones aren't as good. Alright, and next is primer, and for my face, I like to use the NYX Angel, Angel Veil Primer. And what that does, it really just smooths out everything that's like impure with your face. And it blurs everything out, it's really, really nice. I use it all over my face, and I put it on my eyelids too. I know that probably doesn't do anything, but whatever, you know? Okay, and for foundation today, I use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This stuff is Bomb. Uh, it's a little bit dark for me, so just like pretend that it's not, but it's a really good foundation. It kind of smells like paint that you get from like Lowe's or Home Depot, but you know, it's fine. And I'll be using this Eco Tool sponge. It is busted af, yes I know, but we're still going to use it to blend in the foundation. I really like using the sponges because it really helps to um, press the product into your face. And I really like the way this one is. I like it a lot more than the Beauty Blender, actually. And this foundation works great with it. It's a very lightweight foundation, but it's still pretty full coverage. For my concealer today, we will be using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. This stuff is so good. It's in the shade Fair. They have a few different shades that do a few different things, but... It's really full coverage, really lightweight, and we're just going to apply a thin, even layer around our face, under our eyes to cancel out the dark circles, and then to highlight a little bit on the nose and forehead area. And I'm just going to bounce this in using the flat edge of the Eco Tool sponge, the side that's not busted. To set my concealer, I will be using the Cody Airspun Powder. It's a loose translucent powder. Uh, mine is in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage, I believe. And what we're going to do with that is we're just going to lightly dust it over the areas that we place the concealer to really set it in place. I'm not going to be baking in this tutorial because it's going to be kind of like a light, everyday look, so we don't really want to cake the makeup on our face. Just setting this everywhere I laid down the concealer. So to set the rest of our face, we're going to be using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder in the shade Porcelain. I just find that it's really easy to blend the bronzer and blush once you set the rest of your face with a powder so that it's not patchy or uneven. And I'll be doing my brows off of camera with this Maybelline Brow Precise Pencil. For bronzer today, I will be using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. I think there's a lighter one, but it smells so good. It smells like vacation and coconuts and everything. So I'm going to just bronze the perimeters of my face. It's not going to be too like sharply contoured since this is kind of like a softer look. So I'm just running this all over the perimeter of my face really lightly and kind of messy. And then I'm going to hit my jawline to try and contour away this double chin. And then a slight nose contour. I don't know what I was doing with the handle of my brush. I will be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Apricot in the middle. It is a really pretty peachy iridescent kind of blush. I really love it. Um, and I'm just going to place this on the apples of my cheeks and run it back. I don't really blend too hard back into my contour. 
because I just kind of want this to be a soft wash of color. For highlight today, I will be using the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is a really great highlight and it's like $4. It is the bomb diggity. You can get it at Ulta and I'm just taking this and running it on the high points of my cheekbones and over my brow just kind of to give that soft highlighted look. I'm also hitting my nose and my cupid's bow, but just a little bit. You don't want it to be too woolly. For our eyes today, I'm going to be using the NYX Lid Lingerie Palette, and I'm going to be taking that peachy shade in the middle and just running that all through my crease with a really fluffy brush. It's going to be um, kind of messy, kind of um, super blended out. You don't want it to be super harsh because it is kind of like a really soft look and I'm just running that through my crease. Next in the next palette I'm taking this kind of matte bone color shade and I'm going to put that on a flat synthetic elf brush and just pack that on my lid and that's just kind of going to add a little bit more dimension to the eye. I'm also taking that same brush and dipping back into the Essence highlighter and I'm running that under my brow bone and also in my inner corner. It's not very bright, but it's going to add a little bit of something to the eyes. I'm also going to take that peachy color again on that elf brush and just run it underneath my lower lash line for like a hot minute. I don't want to go too smoky or anything like that, but just to give the eye a little bit of a better shape. For mascara today, I will be using the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. This mascara is awesome, and I am very, very bad at applying mascara, as you can see here. Um, I'm just running this all over my lashes, and then, you know, get it on the side of your nose. That's a really cute look. I like it a lot. Uh, I just kind of kept going, and I'll clean it up later. But this is a really nice mascara, really volumizing, and it doesn't um, transfer at all. I'm going to go ahead and do my lips before I clean up that spot. I'm going to be taking the shade 545 Beige Babe from the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipsticks and I'm just going to apply that all over my lips. It's a fabulous nude color. If you haven't tried it, it is awesome and perfect for every skin tone. For my lip gloss today, I'll be using the Ulta Shiny Sheer Lip Gloss in the shade Bare. I'm just popping this on the center of my lips to kind of give a pouty look. And lastly, for my setting spray, I'll be using the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. It is awesome. I love it so much. It keeps your makeup on all day. Alright guys, and this is the final look. Uh, I really enjoyed filming it. I think it's super easy, super great. Um, I know this is what I wear almost every day. Um, yeah, so I really love how this turned out. I think it looks really awesome. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for coming back. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Anyways, um, yeah, so um, I'm sorry I didn't post for like a whole week. Um, it was my university's final week and your girl had like five finals in like three days and then the two days after that I had to move all my stuff out of my dorm back home. It was a mess. So I'm sorry about that, but everything should be on track from here on out. Um, like I said, um, two videos a week. Uh, my next look is going to be super fun, and I really want you guys to come back and check it out. Um, Alright, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, please subscribe and like this video. Um, I can't wait to see you guys on my next video. Bye! <laughs>